Okay, I'm gonna try to throw a little video together here for updating Clipper uh, MCU versions. So I hadn't used my printer in a minute and I ended up updating my Clipper version, but my spider board, my Raspberry Pi was version 10, this one still. I was able to get the pie to go through, but I was struggling to get the spider to go through without taking um, it out and doing the SD card method, like initial install. Um, and I think I might have figured out a resolution with some help from some other people, um, but I'm going to throw together this little bit, um, see if it helps anybody. All right, so when you get this, uh, you obviously got to go update these. Um, so save your IP and then you need to use putty unless you're on another um, machine like Ubuntu or something or some other SSH program. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to log in. This pie. Put your password in. Um, first thing I'm going to do is this command. I'm going to copy this. Okay. And then there's a page here on Warren's website for automatic Clipper MCU updates. And I was doing this and I kept getting a problem here. And this is what I was getting. It would compile it, my new version, but it wouldn't put it on with a spider. I kept having a connection problem, so something was off. Um, and someone recommended I should just try, if you go back to your initial install info, just do this method, he said, because it works. He didn't have trouble, too, with the other method. Um, but someone chimed in and said I need to try a different way. So if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to go to this, but we're gonna try it one more time. All right, so we got our pie. So I'm gonna start copying these. So it's simple enough to copy these. And then when you get to this page, you're creating your um, firmware again. If you go to this spider clipper um, install info, it'll give you kind of what you need. Um, and I have a version 2.2. Um, so we set that up, and this is already done because it, it saved it for me. We're going to quit, and normally you would hit yes, but my info is already there. And use this one. So we're building it. So 
so that's our version but it's not yet on uh, the spider so when I used this next command I would get connection errors and then I saw the version 1 and I was trying to figure that out um, but there's only so many definitions I found stored in Clipper there um, so I tried 5 sec spider and then there's a uh, spider dash v1 and neither um, would work but then somebody said use this command and then this whatever it, I'm going to try with this this USB number so we're going to try that Maybe let's do this first. So let's do delete whatever and use this part. So make flash device ID, and that's my connection to the from the Pi. That doesn't seem to work. Let's try it again. So I'm going to try from here. Got that again. No such file. All right, so I still couldn't get it to work that way. I don't know if I was doing something wrong um, or what, but I flipped the printer over and did DFU mode and it worked uh, perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna give another quick rundown. If you go to this firmware page, I have the FISEC spider um, and then basically just start here. So I put the jumper in after I flipped the printer over, and then I went through this, logged back in, followed this, selected my board, uh, run this command, followed this, hit this. Um, it'll show you four different things, and I just had to change these four digits. It was like DF11 something else. Um, turned it off, everything was good, uh, that updated, and then if you go back to the other page, um, you'll do it again following the commands for the Pi, which will work, but when you get to this, uh, under microcontroller, I have a Raspberry Pi 4, I just picked Linux process instead of this STM32, um, and then that's your only choice, quit, save, and then just follow the rest and it'll go through and we're back up no error messages with the new updates from 
what, Clipper 10 to 11. Um, we should be ready to go.